Hello, hello, what's up? It's Jun Chan. Welcome back to the stream. Uh, so today, after about like two weeks of uh, staying into our free arrows in, uh, in Haskell, it's time to get back to, uh, well, something that we haven't looked at in, uh, in quite a while. Um, Haskell on the GPU and our end body problem. So let's, uh, let's update this. Uh, it's now May 11th. And I believe probably until May, something like 18th, we'll be doing again Haskell on the GPU. Um, <clears throat> so that takes the form of us trying to get things building and running um, with the Accelerate library on top of CUDA and LVM9. So lots of uh, lots of uh, things to catch up with. I don't even remember exactly where we left things. So uh, let's start our housekeeping and paste here the end body log and take a look at it. So what does this say? So we're still trying to build accelerate example. Uh, so what it looks like still a little bit stuck on on CUDA? Um, I don't know, actually. No, I think we, we were probably past this. So hold on one second. Was this really? Yeah, it is. Uh, so maybe I didn't update properly the log, but I think we went further forward. But let's, uh, let's check this. So how are we going to check this? We are going to go to uh, the anybody problem workspace here. And uh, well, the fact that uh, the flake.nix is open maybe means that indeed we're still uh, stuck into uh, build, building things. Uh, let's go into body here and I suppose accelerate uh, examples, right? And ideally we want to be able to do nix develop like everywhere else and something like about build here. So what's up? Uh, could not find path, found CUDA toolkit and then could not find path CUDA toolkit. Oh, you're looking for lib64 in that. Okay, um, it's getting windy. And indeed, we don't have lib64. I'm pretty sure we had this problem before. How did we solve it? I thought we, this might be, um, Oh, that's CUDA. Okay, so let's see. Uh, let's get our bearings back here. Uh, Flake.nix, that's what we're looking at. And then da -da -da, accelerate example cabal. And um, CUDA 0102. Well, let's look at cabal project. We are supposed to be using the CUDA 0102 that's checked out here. So let's uh, exit Nix develop and go into the CUDA library and see whether we have a Nix develop here. We do not. Um, so we suppose I s to build it, I guess. Um, extra temp file, uh, blah. Ah, lib64 all over the place. So indeed that would uh, not work. Okay, I'm going to uh, close the windows because uh, the I think the storm is coming.
And we're back. Yes. So, right. Um, so this uh, generated bill info file is looking into um, a lip64 path. Uh, I think this is part of stuff that's in this library right there. And so I think we try to amend things upstream, but instead, Let's amend them right here. So that would be then accelerate examples. And if we do Nix develop, uh, I suppose the kebab build is the one that's going to pick things up, right? Yeah, it's recompiling main in CUDA. So that uh, uh, the setup file, I, I believe, right? Yeah. And what's up uh, missing? Really? Hold on. Yeah. Uh, using build information from. So I think maybe we need to. I uh, don't oh know. Now it's going to slash lib. Okay. So that's fine. But. Uh, uh, Hold on. What? Uh, let's uh, take another look at our flip.nix and um, I'm not sure we actually need that but uh, could it took it ah so that was our attempt to patch things um, mm -hmm. I feel like we are ah maybe maybe this is what's going on. We need to add back an overlay. The good overlay. Hold on, final prev. Right, so you know what? How about we put it here? Uh, not this. Um, no. Uh, let's delete this, make sure. We are regenerating this. We are. Um, so is it coming from here? I don't think it is. Um, good libraries. Right. Um, so I remember that to solve this, because basically I think, well, let's uh, let's go check check things out. Um, I think what's in um, this path is what we're pulling in right now. Mm. And lib, I think does not have, yeah, only has, it has lib libcuda dev rt, but it doesn't have things like what we're seeing here, cuda dev rt, cuda art, uh, cuda rt. Um, but those things exist, but they're just in a different next path. So where are they? And how come? So let's see. Right, there was the re the attempt to replace packages dot CUDA. All right, the, so indeed, they basically add CUDA toolkit and NVIDIA X eleven. Hmm. 
I'm now wondering whether that's where things are. Are they inside NVIDIA X11? Um, can I just simply do something like this and see whether that works? That's a bit strange, but um, worth a try. still pointing to CUDA toolkit pretty much everywhere here so how is this how is it picking this up is that is that a thing Not a thing. Um, PKG config. Not there. I think we can add that, right? PKG config. Um, Cannot. Um, is that am I? What am I using? Uh, or maybe it's in PKGs. No, PKGs is the Haskell. P is it the Haskell PKGs? No. Yeah. So it must be PKGs then. Uh, so this CUDA is actually the. Um, it's the Haskell CUDA, and so it doesn't necessarily get as much. As far as I understand, since it's already being pulled in, I think by the accelerate example things. And yeah, this seems to build. Um, the, oh, what? I mean, streamline. Why? What did I do here? I think I must have closed. And uh, not even realize it. <laughs> okay, so mix develop. I mean, if you want, you can do that, but it's not what we're looking for. PKG config seems to be in. And therefore, we can do something like help because I don't remember. And mod version of CUDA. Could I talk it? Right, so it could be that that's what's being done. Wow. Uh, okay, let's look at the uh, at the log. Um, okay, missing. So that was another error. And uh, by the CUDA path, we depend on the out of CUDA toolkit, but the CUDA library itself is in dollar lib. Right, so I remember indeed introspecting things pretty deeply. Um, I don't even remember how I was doing that, but um, hmm. we have to rebuild the CUDA has called package because of its setup phase. Yes, since we don't have the proper build environment, it seems that extra libs there might not be passed properly. That's been within the shell, but not well in the shell. Yeah. Right. So that indeed seems like that's what's happening. So So I suppose the question is we can't overwrite things with the pack the cabal.project. I remember that. 
which is why we're trying to build it from inside. If we don't, um, if we um, is that going to work? If we don't override it, uh, yeah, you're not happy with that. Uh, how about this? No. Okay. Um, yeah. So in this case, CUDA, well, in this case, CUDA is already built, but it's built from, um, from upstream from uh, wherever we're getting it from. And that means we can't modify it. And I imagine that that's why we ended, we have it in our packages, right? <clears throat> um, let's retrace our steps here. Seems like we can actually build. Um, all right, and so cabal run what and body. I think not. It's uh, something else. What is it? Um, accelerate and body. Right. So that's pretty good, huh? Except, right, except. Um, we're almost there except for the CUDA exception, right? So is, is that why we're trying to rebuild the CUDA and which version were we using? I'm pretty sure we pinned in some way or another uh, to CUDA toolkit. Uh, well, yeah, we are pinned to 10.2 through the use of CUDA toolkit 10.2. And so what is our compatibility problem here? And do I have something in the to-do here? No. Um, uh, yes, compat. Right, so we, oh, right. <clears throat> yes, I suppose one question is, what is the version of our driver? And we get that with what, NVIDIA SMI or something, I think. And it says we have CUDA version 10.2. And uh, that is indeed what we want. So why do we get this? And uh, let's see if we can find a window that has some maybe that has called up next one yeah that's the one okay Oof. okay um wow yeah that's <laughs> that's deep within the rabbit hole um okay so let's see let's just uh there we go PyTorch, why not? <clears throat> Running it with the 20. Da, da, da. Oh, you, you can't even run NVIDIA SMI, but we can. Just reboot or reset NVIDIA drivers. Rebooting fix the problem. Uh, oh boy. Do not like this. Um, driver library version mismatch, but we, we don't have that. That's not our problem. Ah, one possibility is that the version we use to build is not the version we use for our OS because our OS uses, um, completely forget how these things work already. Nix, var, uh, nix, maybe, profiles. 
Uh, no, that's uh, Etsy Nix. Uh, right, OS. Yes, and right, and then uh, Flake is the wrapper. And right, we have both Nix packages and unstable. And then we do what we um, pum, pum, pum. then in uh, configuration dot Nix we use. Um, we use an older driver. How do we do that? We do that by doing. Oh, that's not an older driver. What's this? The, the, the prime? Is that really a thing? Does this, does this work? um okay i'm surprised <laughs> um but maybe linux package is 419 prime oh okay i overwrite things i overwrite things and i pick up the driver my, myself manually so that's the chances that this is being picked up are obviously zero in my flake.nix so that's probably what i need to do um either that or um i mean this the problem is that when if i do something like that well it's fine i'm gonna i was gonna say it's not gonna be reproducible on other machines but we are far from having done anything that would be reproducible on other machines since this config is so so specific to my to mine um so let's not attempt this yet but so this is probably uh completely uh useless and in fact misleading um the question is how is so i suppose there's a few questions right it's possible that the driver gets linked you wouldn't think so, right? You'd think the CUDA, CUDA 10.2 headers would be the thing that gets linked. But these error messages kind of makes me think maybe actually, um, maybe something else get linked that depends on the driver during compilation. How would we know that? we could uh, i suppose um rdd the um what rdd the well the could toolkit maybe what's in there um what's in the face dot lock not much um I suppose we could try the REPL thing. Could we? Do we want to? Hmm. I'm not even sure. But let, let, let's try REPL. Next run REPL. And then from here, what could I do? I could. Um, what I want is the store path. I'm not sure that's what I really, really want to do. Um, do I have a result folder here? No. If I mix, uh, do I want to mix this up? I don't know. Hmm. Okay, so in the Nix develop environment, Can I nix flake something? Info about a given flake. Uh, show the output provided by a flake. Dot. Oh, okay. It's going to. Yeah, I think maybe that's no. <laughs> Oh, okay. Maybe I need to. Um, I need to show um, apps. Um, 
we don't want to build the whole thing but I'm an x80 yeah uh, so if you're an x86 uh, uh, 64 Linux then we shall build you um, apps is that Uh, okay, maybe default package then. Okay, I forgot the syntax here. Uh, yeah, how do I get the flick URL? Um, <laughs> Man, nah, don't believe in that. Although, maybe I'm wrong. Um, mix three dash flake. Or can I can I move here? Uh, who knows H jumping um, no. yeah I don't know that I can follow these things um, mix reflake mm, yeah actually but uh, mix reflake show And that's the same thing. Yeah. Okay. Um, let's uh, let's go into uh, something that will tell us what we're missing here. Uh, not this. Uh, maybe flex here. Yeah, flex here. And uh, URLs and stuff. Um, ba -ba -ba. But it's probably not here. It's probably in that read the docs new doc thingy for flakes uh nix flakes uh, read the docs yeah docs and uh, yeah that thing is still definitely not coming up um new docs Come on, that it is read the docs, right? Pretty sure. Um, yeah, that guy. And that guy. And that doesn't look like it. That doesn't look like it. Let's go for next. Doc server mix dev ah. No, that's for DevOps. But they could have changed the theme because these things move forward. So, 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 index. And uh, yeah, that's uh, not very. Um, 2017? Or, okay. Uh, manual, tutorial. Okay, new manual, experimental, flakes. New CLI. Yeah, this. And um, flake reference. There you go. Yeah, that has, a, that has what we want, I think. Um, examples. Yeah, there you go dot the flick in the current directory and then therefore what's hash so hash must be inside the attribute set so apps 
um, so we do we do we go in apps why would we want to go in apps I think we go in default package and then um, okay so let's try that um, well okay apps yeah this and the default package I think But it wants to evaluate uh, our Arch Linux voices for some reason. Probably because I didn't do dot, probably. Unexpected fragment. Um, no search. Search. Fragment. like metadata okay maybe we do info dot let's try the simple things first right so this structure would be if there were explicit um, Dependency to other flakes, I suppose. Um, maybe. And so show, however, just gets us to evaluate the world, which we don't want. Provided by the Patch of like right okay. Uh, the command is missing. Uh, but what's the structure? Default package has a blah. So why wouldn't we be able to go inside the blah? I'm not sure it would show the dependencies though. So maybe that's a fool's errand. Legacy packages, override, da, da, da. Um, ba, 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 um, build, copy, develop, registry, store, add file, cat. Yeah, or, yeah, um, what about that thing, show closures or mix? Uh, Show derivation, what's that? Hmm. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, that's not bad actually. Um, So setup HS, I think, is um, is the CUDA setup HS. It might not be. I'm actually. It might be this setup HS. Yeah, it is this setup HS. Okay. And um, right. So that and then default builder. So those are added, I think, by the 
by th by an expression uh, like that builds the Haskell things, um, including probably this unpretty and the docs. So those are two outputs. Okay, yeah, fine. And then input derivations and. Um, We actually don't have CUDA. Is it transitive? It might be transitive. Um, of accelerate. Or maybe no, actually accelerate the LLVMPTX probably. And then we do these things that I believe are mostly again set up by the Haskell builder or the, the thing we call which is Cabal what is it uh, not call hackett but uh, call about to mix i think provide the bulk of all of these hooky things and uh, compiler environment so do we have any cuda things here um yeah okay i still don't know how to search uh, CUDA oh we, yeah, we're wrapping around but maybe let's ah yeah we don't and do we have any NVIDIA things we don't oh ah, well okay we have these and then we have our config and that's it yeah so what's going on here um, We use this driver for the four hundred four forty one hundred four forty one hundred yeah. So we use this driver. The fact that NVIDIA SMI works, I think, means that we're good. But I think maybe we could try proc driver nvidia see whether actually this is correct 44100 gcc version 10.2.0 but i mean to be honest this is probably coming from exactly uh, exactly here but um But it seems like uh, there shouldn't be an issue. So let's uh, continue looking at here, like rebooting or resetting NVIDIA driver. Or maybe maybe he's responding to this error message now. So let's look a bit ahead towards the, okay, well, also get this. Okay, well, so, right. So that's in fact not at all what we want. <laughs> maybe I should have read the issue. A bit better. Uh, what do we have here now? Ta -da -da. Exception what? Error. GPU API call for compatibility was attempted. Da. Yeah. So that's more or less what we have, except without uh, sort of the details. Um, after deploying a binary which was built in Docker on a real Ubuntu 2020, also for this problem, I can only be solved by installing the latest driver. Oh, well, yeah, if there was a problem with the compatibility list, then we'd be in trouble. Could I tend to 440, uh, greater than 440.33? 10 to 89. We don't know. Do we know? Um, do we need to have CUDA toolkit in the in the next develop to well actually I'm not even in the next develop so yeah so of course it was there I just don't I don't need to do that Uh, 
So, CUDA what? I suppose... Maybe, could I GDB? Tend to release. Doesn't give us much more detail. Um, hmm. I'm not thinking about the fact that the CUDA, this CUDA guy has an example which does device query. So, um, hmm. but I think I'm going to have trouble building it because we already established that I couldn't build it from the outside. But I think device uh, device query, I thought maybe it would be accessible here, but it's not. But maybe it is available somewhere in the Nix packages, CUDA device query. Is there a derivation for it? Uh, example CUDA blah, CUDA sample device query. Yeah, not completely obvious how that would work. Uh, does NVIDIA SMI have more detailed help there? Um, is GPUs, query GPU, No, doesn't seem like I have what we want. Okay, so let's continue reading a bit because I think we're still not quite clear about what the error is. Um, can I have more detail about the error? How would I do that? I'd need to understand. It's about, uh, I suppose, this is running tests. So this must be inside example and body and test, I suppose. Running tests equals zero, blah, assert equal. Um, I'm not sure why it's running the test, by the way. Um, what are the options for this? Um, strange that it does this, but oh yeah, there we go. Um, right, so criterion would be one. Otherwise, we do minus s naive. Okay, let's try that. Minus s um, naive one, and then there's defaults, and then maybe and I think. Well, okay, because we need to dash dash. And uh, yeah, that fails. It fails because maybe it just it tries to run the test, whatever whatever it is we we do. Um, test seeds, plain select tests. Okay, let's, uh, why would you run the test? Enable test mode true, okay. Got it, and enable benchmark. And uh, right, the two things. Oh, so maybe we, well, we maybe we dash dash test uh, false. And then we see what's up. Preview read no parse. Um, okay, maybe uh, test false. Mm, still not. Okay, I think there was an example actually, wasn't there? No. Ah, um, okay, maybe large case. Yes. So now it's trying to benchmark. So we say dash dash bench, bench or benchmark? Uh, benchmark. 
equal false. And now, okay, now we probably need to say backend then. Um, where we say LRDMPTX. And nothing happens. Why not? Who knows? Program options. Okay, maybe we say we'll draw the bar has quite true. Well, that's ambitious when you don't even have a bar in has had um, a bounce up algorithm. So let's see where where do the program uh, is that coming from config? Ah, it's coming from here. Okay, draw tree. I mean, I'm not so I'm not crazy, right? This this is not gonna bring anything else but this yes indeed um oh, but let's see should config should draw tree okay well how about that okay there's a couple of those so in theory you're, you're passing this in the config but uh, i suppose we we just ignore it i imagine Yeah, no bounce hat yet, exactly. And um, okay, so why is nothing happening? Um, Solver algorithm. Ah, okay, right. <laughs> Doing something smart with the parsing, are we? And oh, what? Okay, no, that's nothing. I think it's just, it's just strange. I don't know why Cabal somehow. Um, does this mm -hmm. still not so I mean what are my expectations here I, I suppose I'm thinking that there is something else than tests and benchmarks but that might be completely erroneous uh, in fact it's probably very erroneous. Um, no, it might not be because there is a gloss here. So it should be able to actually draw something, right? Yeah, it should. It should. Oh. Option V showing the bounce hat tree. Mm. Right, okay. Should draw tree. So it's still getting the world, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. The the bouncer tree, however, is not there, but it should draw the bodies and points, and that should be when doing simulate. And simulate is called from main, right? It is. It says run interactive. You should play something in window. A window called end body. We don't have a window called end body, right? We do not seem to have one, but um, so run tests, run benchmarks. So in theory, forward and to down. That's cute. Um, draw conf. So in theory, this thing should be doing something. But this apparently just exits without even an error. Plus, it's rebuilding all the time, which is a bit unnerving. Okay, let's uh, further trace what's going on here. Um, begin monitoring. What is that? Don't even know what that is. So maybe from gloss. Um, gloss. No. Before running anything. Hmm? 
Data Array Accelerate Debug Building Monitoring with EKG. I see. Um, yeah, we're probably not using that. OPTS backend, run backend. I, it could be that we're not catching um, exceptions at all in the run interactive bit. Um, but this should call play, and I bet you play is in well, where is play? Mm. Oh, that's in the visualizer. There's a C plus plus visualizer. I didn't even realize that. So that probably needs to be built, doesn't it? I uh, didn't even. So hold on, is that is that? No, no, nothing to do with it. This is just the original code, which is probably why we also. Oh, there's a visualize.hs though. Genetic bodies. What is that? Uh, very sure of what that's supposed to be. It seems to be a mix of sort of the original C++ that inspired the actual mBody example from the GPU gem thingies, and then um, and then some Haskell that maybe is just some kind of foreign function interface with with that maybe an early version trying to hook up into. Uh, into the C++, but hold on, uh, let's try uh, visualize uh, maybe with, yeah. So that module visualize the DHS indeed is not imported elsewhere. So, so it's, so that visualizer is kind of self-contained. Um, and why did I look at the visualizer in the first place? Because play was in the visualizer. So I just don't know where play comes from, but that's probably gloss. Then use play. Yeah, it's probably more convenient than play. Um, play. Okay, index p and move play play pure game yeah then keep your game and play takes all these things okay so can we maybe we want to test yeah maybe we want to test a simple gloss program um how can we do that let you manage your own input okay maybe we need to also check what run interactive is right Well, indeed, it would be nice, but apparently, or maybe, maybe it's in this as some common thing, or 
some code in the where would it be lib internal and yeah i bet that's where it is yes interactive run interactive accelerate enable gui aha aha ha, ha. so if this is not turned on then we are being thrown under the bus uh, do, do, do. let's see oh well things are well, what's going on there where did where did my camera oh because uh because it's no more no it is connected to a thing okay oh well not a big problem and uh, yeah we're back uh yeah accelerate enable gui um there you go cpp cpp option if flag gui do we have flag gui in 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 where in the cabal project oh minus gui that's not good right maybe plus gui and let's try again that's going to recompile though right Okay, good. I found a thing. That's encouraging. The world makes sense again. Okay, okay. There was an attempt. Something flashed before my eyes. It wasn't my whole life. I think it was a window okay i think it appeared on the left yeah okay but uh, at least we get uh, back the same error so okay so we still have the underlying kind of whatever driver compatibility issue but at least now we know that when we solve that probably the gui is going to fire up okay so a little bit of progress i'm going to take a tiny break and be right back
Okay, and I am back. And so for just uh, about 20 minutes more, let's see what we can do. Maybe we can solve this forward compatibility problem. So CUDA exception, that's probably going to be raised by uh, CUDA itself, right? But so maybe that's the reason why I was looking into CUDA so that I could wrap it into into something that would help us allow uh, help us understand what's up but let's uh, let's uh, rdd because i think that might be an idea right um let's see what we have in here first and uh, we have a bunch of stuff and we want like maybe leave cuda or something uh cuda dev rt I don't know that that sounds like the best, um, but also it's a dot A. So probably not what we want. Um, NV blah, and this doesn't have CUDA, right? Then what about the includes? Uh, includes have, have a CUDA thing. That's good dot h, but but that's not going to help us, is it? Those are just headers. Um, and here we do have some bins here. What do we have? Yeah, ma mainly we know about those. I'm thinking whether the driver incompatibility could be related to this, but um, yeah, not sure. Okay, nothing in tools. Uh, that I suppose is exactly what we were looking at earlier. And so, um, Let's show the derivation again. Doesn't the derivation include? Do, do we have CUDA toolkit in in this list? I don't think we do even. So that's because it's inside, uh, or it's uh, yeah, it's it's inside this derivation. I think. So let's see whether we can. Um, how do we do? Do we just uh, paste that? We might except we need to format it. Oh boy. Um, ah, CUDA, I see CUDA there. I don't know how I see it, but I see it. And so let's uh, print that. And then what? And then, and then that's the place where it has its output. So, if we check this out, wow. Um, right, could that turn two? Then we have a lib, and that's not what. Oh, that's actually the uh, that's the Haskell that's the Haskell thing. Oh, we have NVIDIA device query here. Interesting. Can we run that? Oh. Yeah, check this out. CUDA driver version 11.2. CUDA API version 10.2. We are getting closer. Why is the CUDA driver version 11.2? Is that is that independent from the NVIDIA thing and therefore which one am I picking? Yes, I think that's probably what's going on, right? And just um, right, I suppose we can uh, less and then go for CUDA. It's not even here. We are 
are doing some strange things. Probably another attempt to get this Linux package for 19. Uh, so yeah, so my it's in fairly bad shape than my <laughs> my uh, configuration here. Um, but what does that tell us about the CUDA driver version we're using now? This is all good news though. Um, could I set up on XOS? Okay, maybe this is serendipitously what we want. Uh, let's see how does this work normally. Blah, blah, blah. NVIDIA driver, blah. Could I toolkit is enlisted in, as packages, but works fine. Additional rule needs to be created. SMI, this is all. Okay, now I'm starting to be just a little bit fearful that could a toolkit 10.2 would, for instance, not have, not be the right version or be lying about its version or something like that. CUDNN is fine, but that's not what we want. Um, CUDA packages, CUDA toolkit ten, ten one. Um, okay, this is all confusing. Ten two. This is very confusing. This is actually the ten two eighty nine. This is very confusing. Okay, flakes. We get this from PKGs. We have Kura Toolkit 10.2 here. And PKGs is, is Nix packages with the overlay, but the overlay is empty anyway. And the Kura Toolkit overlay is empty, and it's unfree, and it's well out broken. Maybe we shouldn't, but we do. And I don't even know whether we actually need those things, but we're not going to touch it for now. Yeah, dark label, so that that's, I'm not even sure we need that either. Plenty of extraneous attempts that haven't been cleaned up. But, um, but this is very confusing. Why is CUDA Toolkit not there? We are using NixOS and Stable. Um, ah, okay. Is it that this is Nix Packages and Stable, not NixOS and Stable? That's why we have a problem. Could be, okay. So uh, CUDA Toolkit 10.2 NixOS. Could I talk it 10.2, version 10.2, 10 10 um, NVIDIA Nix shell not working. Okay, let's see what's up. Um, NVIDIA SMI blah, 10.2, yeah. Can't get NVIDIA working with a Nix shell. So we don't have that problem. Could have version 10.1. Why not just use the toolkit? Yes, indeed, we need to have control over versions. That's why we use Nix in the first place. 
Where is turn one coming from? Next search, blah. Okay, let's try this. Next search, toolkit turn. Uh, we'll try turn two, but uh, let's see what what this says. I suppose we need to do Linux packages. But really, what we want is this package is unstable, I think, or Linux OS unstable. So this has ah, this has it in legacy packages, which makes sense. Compiler and so on, but basically, I th the the thing is that basically, I think that the CUDA driver comes with, NV with the NVIDIA override. So for us, it will come with that, uh, that thing we have in the configuration.nix. Oh, actually, so we're not using this uh, 419 override. The 419 prime thing is what we're using in the flake.nix. So this overwrite, the question is then, we do this X11 Vulkan beta override for that source, but basically we need to look at um, we need to look back at what the wrapper for NVIDIA is, because it could be that uh, that it fetches whatever CUDA version it wants in addition to the NVIDIA run. Unless this also includes NVIDIA. Uh, that seems strange though. It seems to me that the driver version reported by NVIDIA SMI is correct and that it's more the the driver that we compile for, that's wrong. <laughs> driver or API and this just says version so it could be anything driver version versus API version okay um, CUDA driver version versus API version And that's again something else. CUDA runtime and CUDA driver get. Runtime version indicates CUDA compatibility with respect to the install CUDA RT library. CUDA driver version reports the same information with respect to the driver. Okay, I see. Um, well, I see vaguely. So my intuition of trying to find CUDA RT is actually right, except that I suppose I stopped midway because I found this NVIDIA device query. And this is probably the Haskell CUDA. So there was like an X locate, right? Maybe there isn't. Um, do I have locate? I do. Uh, do I need to update DB? I might, but let's do it. And uh, well, could our RT dot SO or something is going to be maybe what we want to look for. Um, I can blame confusing names. I mean, whether that's uh, Uh, 
yeah, if you want to merge them for NVIDIA as well. Da -da -da. Mm. Doesn't tell us anything very interesting. Uh, requires a particular minimum driver level for proper use. Yeah, this is all confusing. Good at driver API. That's uh, same answer. Runtime API. Um, and what was our error message? The for compatibility. Let's add this to that. And PyTorch, and uh, we've seen that, but so it doesn't really solve. Okay, show us. Picking at random here. Okay, it's doing good stuff. It's device query, not good. Okay, the capable devices. Yeah. I wonder though why I'm not getting just straight answer for CUDA driver version versus CUDA API version. Because that's what the NVIDIA query returns. Driver API, let's see what this is. Uh, differences between driver and runtime APIs. Very similar. So how do we interpret this? I don't even know. What is the runtime version here? Why don't you why don't you use consistent uh, vocabulary? I mean it could be that it's the Haskell world that doesn't do this properly because this is compiled by uh, by the CUDA package, this is this guy. Yeah. So, ha. so in fact, it is the fault of. <laughs> oh boy. Okay. So version is driver version, and API version is library version. Why use so many different names? library version library version and this is calling some foreign stuff driver no version here version there version and so we locate CUDA RT I believe and we get a bunch and okay that's cool but it must be in the CUDA toolkit actually oh we, yes it's the dash lib yes right 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 okay I remember now and um, but yeah it could be that actually this is not what we want to know, but yeah, I think we've actually, it's, yeah, we, we, we're probably closer now to understanding what the problem is, and it's actually not necessarily related. I mean, this looks like, to me, it looks like uh, the real time CUDA library is version 10 to 989, but 
But who knows? It could be that that's not the case. Um, uh, I think we can have some basic info about an SO file, can't we? Um, Linux SO file info. Read elf. Minus D or minus A? Get the library version, minus D. Okay, let's try that. Read. Oh, we don't have read elf needed here. Um, next, read elf. Command and file, okay, right. Binito unwrapped. Um, you know what? Oh, I think that's going to not, that's not going to work. No, it is going to work. Oh, we're in an X shell now. I suppose that's fine. Um, read elf, minus D, and D. Okay, not that guy. And let's see this guy, I think. Well, let's take, let's take this, how about that? Yeah. And... Mm, ver def, okay, well, ver need. So I suppose this is, this is what we want, but... Um, Let's try with minus A. It might be too much. Version definition. Same to symbols. AMD, Vila. Elf header, da da da. Hmm. Not easy. Okay. Let's get back to our NVIDIA. Um, What's going on here? Why, why is this locked? Ah, okay. 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 Apparently I crashed, crashed something here. That's, uh, that's interesting. That does not happen to me very often. Um, okay, so let's do the NVIDIA device query again. And let's look at the code again and try to understand what's up. Um, we're saying that there's tons of different versions here. We want the library version. Can we find that? In util we can, um, library version, get the CUDA RT version. So library version is the runtime version and driver version is whatever else. Runtime version also here. Okay. Um, okay, yeah, let's keep that open and go back to um, go back to where to oh yeah to um, device query right so we have driver version we're not getting runtime version here we've 
but we can't modify this so it's not that we can't but it's complicated now and then like so um maybe we should try and build the native cuda samples but yeah no because it's still useful to understand what a library built against this actually does so here driver version is 11.2 and that's CUDA driver version and that is why is it so far away Library version is correct, but library version, yeah, library version is whatever we build against. Yeah, it's whatever we compile against. So that's what we want. But the driver version is the version of the installed CUDA runtime. So we might have, okay, so, so, so that's the CUDA RT. Pick in conversion, okay. Not sure how it, uh how it finds that out so a hypothesis here and actually I'm going to need to uh, stop here so maybe we uh, we say that this is uh, archive um, and we still bug down in build and what we have is that um, we have this. Well, let's put it here. And that is um, the CUDA runtime version is 11.2 why and that's what we'll figure out next time so thanks a lot for watching and uh, i will see you on thursday for more haskell and um mix os since we're still doing hardware which kind of makes sense because this is fairly low level stuff so we gotta we gotta pass the the potential barrier to get into uh to get into programming again um and Clearly, my Nixfu is also not the best, so this is taking a bit of time, but steady, but uh, surely, right? All right. See you soon. Bye-bye.